Thank you for joining us today once again. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. We are reflecting together once again from the daily devotion written by Pastor E. Adeboe, which is called Open Heaven's Daily Guide. Our topic today is key of consecration. And the Bible passage is uh, taken from the book of Philippians, chapter 3. We're reading from verses 7 to 11. But what things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. Yet indeed, I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is true faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being conformed to his death. If by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. A memory verse, James chapter 4 verse 8. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your heart, you sinners, and purify your heart, you double-minded. In a previous study, we learned that Jesus is the door and that he can compel other doors to open or close. We also learned that God has given us the keys so that we can open doors ourselves. What an amazing God that he will give us that authority. One such key that opens doors is consecration. Consecration, according to the dictionary, means dedication to the service and worship of a deity. It can also be defined as devoting something exclusively to a particular purpose. These definitions show us that consecration means being completely sold out and being exclusive in our service to God. Are you divided in your service to God? Perhaps many things are demanding your attention and God gets moved down your list of priorities. Thus, we open to you if you determine to make God the number one priority in your life. Once you put everything else to the other side and focus on God, you immediately draw attention to yourself. Often, times people around you may begin to mock you saying that you are too much or you are just going on the top. You are too radical. From observation, most people talk like that because they are envious and wish that they could be more like you. Your behavior is actually convicting them of their wrong. The Bible tells us that he will reward those who diligently seek him. A memory verse today says that when you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. Are you facing closed doors today? Why not covenant today that you will turn off your TV and take time out to spend in the presence of God? Why not call down on your spending and determine to be faithful in fight pain? Remember the case of Jacob when he wrestled with God until he got his blessing. How determined are you to seek the face of the Lord? Turn off and get rid of everything that is distracting you. Paul counted everything he had as done. All that he wanted was to know God. Does that describe you? If not, it is time for you to readjust and you will begin to see great doors open unto you. Our action point, consecration gives direction to your life. Adopt one or more covenants with God as exemplified in this study and make them your daily slogans today. Father, we thank you and we bless you for your faithfulness and your goodness. We pray, O oh Lord, that you grant us the grace to be consecrated unto you, take you first, prioritize, and make you number one in our lives. This we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Please do have a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.